everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tanya, and if you're returning, well, today I'm going to be working on those Dollar Tree Spring DIYs. Let's go ahead and jump into DIY number one. For this DIY, we're going to be making this Honey Bee Flower Shelf Sitter. Now, the first thing I did was take four of those wood hearts that I purchased around Valentine's Day from Crafter Square section and one of those little rectangle bases. Now, the fun part of this is going to be those hair spirals. Now, I'm going to just glue these on top of that base. I just really want to make it look like it's maybe like half of a flower. And then I end up just taking one of those little wood Easter eggs and popping that in the center. You'll see here in a moment. And I use that at the center of my flower. And of course, I painted that with that cottage white, everyone. You know, that's my favorite. But everyone, this turned out so cute. And I have a really fun lineup of these little honeybees for you. I wanted to see how many different things that I could find in Dollar Tree to create these little honeybees with. And I think I found some really unique designs, so you'll have to let me know what you think. Now I'm just gonna take that little center piece and pop that in there. Of course I did that with just a beige cream color. Now here's those little hair spirals. I'm just gonna take and cut that one end off of there. And I'm gonna paint these with a coat of just some black acrylic folk art paint. And then I'm gonna take and use, yep, you guessed it, one of those little badminton birdies. And I'm gonna cut those out to make the wings for these little bees. And everyone, this is such a neat idea. And I hope that you do give this one a try because there is so many little gadgets, I'll call them, in the section where the hair bows are at and even where the tools and things. And I was seeing lots of different things that we could create these really fun spring, summer little bugs and bees and all kinds of things. So you're definitely going to see some really unique designs coming up in the upcoming weeks. Now, once I figure out where I'm going to place these little bees, right now I'm just kind of playing. I will end up going back and adding, see right here, a little bit of this, kind of like a mustardy color. And I really just wanted to brush a little bit of that across the back, just so you kind of get that illusion when you're looking at it, that it is a little honeybee. Well, everyone, I'll go ahead and mention we are so close to that 4,000 subscribers. And as soon as I hit that, I'm going to start making plans on the video for the giveaway, which is going to be that Dollar Tree gift card and a couple other little items that I have tossed in there for you. So I hope you can like, share, and comment on this video and help me reach that 4,000 so I can get a gift card out to one of you. Now I'm just gonna glue my little honeybees right here on my flower. And then I found the clear stamps in that crafter square section. And everyone, if you've not checked out those clear stamps, they have got some really cute ones for spring. Uh, the one I'm gonna be using, this it has uh, dragonflies and it has an actual little honeybee. And then it had this cute little saying, uh, enjoy the little things and that's what I end up putting on the flower here but look at these look how cute these are these are going to be so fun to do our DIYs with for the spring and summer now I ended up picking up my little black stamp kit at uh, that checkout area there at Michael's they have a section where you can get the little few dollar items and this was actually a really good one and I think I only paid $1.99 for that little black stamp kit. But I'm going to finish my little honeybee flower off with enjoy the little things. And look how cute this is displayed on my shelf.
Now for my next DIY, I'm gonna make another shelf sitter because this is going above my cabinets in the kitchen. And I actually could not wait to use that little honeybee that was in those clear stamps. So I'm just gonna cover this with, I, I think I used about three coats of my cottage white paint and just make sure you dry that really well. Now, I did end up using some of the stencils that I had picked up at Michael's just because I had them out in the area. You can actually get some of the cute little flower uh, stencils from Dollar Tree, but this was just the one I had handy, so I used it. And I decided to go with the black and white because I love my neutrals, but I also love black and white, so I pull that in occasionally and it looks really nice with my home decor. Now look at this, I'm gonna take that little bee stamp, is this not the cutest little bee stamp? And I'm gonna do something at the end of our video today with this stamp that makes them look so realistic, so I hope you stick around for that one. Now what I'm gonna do, just to add a little something to these bees, is I'm gonna take that metallic craft paint and I'm just gonna highlight the wings. And when you're looking at it in person, it is just that little something that draws your eye. And I think that is what's so fun about creating is when you can just do just a little something that just makes you kind of pay attention to it a little bit more. Of course, I used some of those little rub-on transfers from uh, the Crafter Square section also, and I love this saying, embrace kindness. And you know me, I've gotta have a little greenery, so I thought I'd pop just a few little sprigs of greenery up there on top. And here this one is displayed on the shelf, and I think it turned out so sweet. Now for our next DIY, we're gonna create this beautiful wall art piece that looks like a painting. And I ended up taking one of the pictures from Dollar Tree, of course, painted it with about three coats of that cottage white chalk paint. I really had to cover that well to cover the black letters. Here is another one of those wall art decals and I love this one. This is probably one of my favorites. I hung this up immediately in my kitchen and it really truly looks like a painting, everyone. So I just kind of pieced these together until I could get the flowers the way I wanted them because I knew that I was going to be using that clear stamp once again and putting several little honeybees flying above these flowers and greenery. Now on this design, you'll see I thought I'd go a little bit further with those honeybees and try to paint them to make them look more realistic. And I was so happy with the results of this. It turned out so pretty. Now, I wanted to try this, so I glued this right on to the end of my, my paint stick there just to see if that would help with pressing it down. And it worked pretty good. You do have to be a little careful with these stamps because they are a little bit flimsy in the grooves, so don't put too much paint on at a time. But everyone, look, just stamping these on here already, but wait till I add the color to these. That really made these little honeybees pop. But everyone, I hope that you do give this one a try. If you can find those clear stamps with the honeybee and the dragonfly and all the cute little sayings. Now I'm gonna take, this is actually called a uh, yellow orchid. And this is a folk art paint in matte. And I just used a toothpick and just kind of filled in a little bit in those spaces where it was white. And you could see the more color I put on these, the more realistic. Now I decided once again to take some of that metallic craft paint by Martha Stewart and I'm just gonna dab that into the wings and you can see these little bees just coming to life. 
Well, everyone, I hope you're enjoying these DIYs today. I thought that they were so fun and I definitely have a few more similar to this kind of style that I want to share with you. And I'm going to do some things with some dragonflies and just some fun little things. And I want to really want to keep these themes of the flowers and everything kind of going throughout in the spring and summer. Because I think it's just a really fun way to decorate and create. Well, here this one is displayed on my wall. And don't those little honeybees look so realistic. Okay, everyone, this is our last DIY, and this is our honeybee hive, and I love this design. I had made one years ago on YouTube. I'll try to link that one below, but this one was so fun. I ended up taking some of these tiny little clothespins. Now, I will tell you that if you can find even smaller ones, it would work just a little bit better, but I couldn't find those. These were just a little bit long for me, but once I got them painted and kind of did all the little things to make them resemble the honeybee, once I got them hung up, that it looks so cute. Now I'm going to do the same thing with these. I'm just going to touch up those wings with that metallic craft paint. And now I'm going to take my little strainer and I'm going to start wrapping that in the rope. I did end up pinching off the little metal clip pieces there and they just come right out with the, some of my little pinchers. I just pulled them right out. Now I end up wrapping mine with two layers of this rope, but everyone, I like to paint mine because I have that gray in my home. So you'll see here in a minute where I'm mixing up several different paint colors. And I just think that it makes it look a little bit more realistic. And I added some black and some whites and some creams. And you'll see here in a moment how I painted that. But you could leave it just like this if you like just the rope uh, look better. But like I said, I really like adding those creams and grays in. Now you can see I just took a little bit of this cream color and some black and then I decided I needed some more white because I thought I wanted to make the base color for me a gray color and then I'll kind of start sponging on some of my cream color and I really love how the results of this came out. I really, it just had that really kind of neutral color tone enough that it looked really really good with my decor and still had that hint of gray coming through well everyone i hope you have been enjoying today's diys once again and if you had a favorite one that i created today drop that in the comments below and also let me know if you enjoyed any of these enough that you're going to give one of them a try because they were definitely fun and i have some more similar ones that I'd like to share with you and you'll have to drop that in the comments and let me know if you're wanting to see those. Now once again I'm taking some more of those greenery picks from Dollar Tree and just gluing on the one side of the handle and that's what's so fun about these is it's already got the little hole there so you can hang it right up on your hook or your nail and just a fun design. And I even thought this was so pretty just by itself. It was making me think, what else can I create? But I'm loving that light gray and cream color with my flowers. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing on my little honeybees. And now keep in mind, everyone, my battery died on my camera and I ended up cutting the wings down a little bit shorter because I was trying to get them a little shorter because like I said I was looking for the shorter um clothes pins and I couldn't find them but and I did end up taking some more of the 
gold paint and just kind of painting around it a little bit more and you'll see here in the video it really makes them look more realistic like the little honeybees and i decided to add just a little sprig of the little lavender down here at the bottom and top and that pretty much finished this one off and I just thought once I got it hung up, I actually did put this in my kitchen in a little corner by one of my cabinets and it looks really, really cute up there. Well, here is a little video of it hanging up on the wall so you can see it after I fixed the little bees and I think it just turned out so cute. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's DIYs. If so, let me know if you had a favorite and leave that in the comments below. And also, keep in mind, we're getting closer to that 4,000 subscribers. So please like, comment, and share on this video because when I reach the 4,000 subscribers, I'm gonna do that giveaway for that Dollar Tree gift card and a couple other little items that I just decided to throw in there for you. Well, everyone, I hope you do give this video a thumbs up. That really does help YouTube notice my channel a bit more. And also, when you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell, I hope you select all because that way YouTube should notify you when I upload a new video. Well, everyone, I hope you have a wonderful and blessed weekend, and I will see you on the next one.